So I see in this week that Razer released the Wolverine V2, basically promoting it obviously for the Xbox Series X and Series S and all that stuff. And I was like, okay, cool, a new version of the Wolverine, like one of my favorite controllers on the Xbox One here for the new generation. And I believe, I'm pretty sure it's compatible with the Xbox One as well too. So obviously right now I don't have an Xbox Series X because they're kind of all sold out. So I've been testing this on my PC and on the PC app, they do have controls to configure the additional buttons on the Wolverine V2 as well. So that software has already been updated. You just use the Wolverine app for Xbox. It is on Windows as well. You just go to the Windows store and download. I'll leave a link to it in the description below in case you're curious. But I do think that this is a good controller for PC as well, but I don't really think it's a good controller overall. And we'll get into that with this video. So Razer didn't send this out to me. I bought it, relaxed. My credit card kind of questioned me why I, I bought it as well, because uh, I was looking at it, I looked at the pictures like pretty intense and I was like, mm, there's some stuff missing from this controller and I'm really surprised at how this is $100. Like it doesn't make much sense at all. So it does feel immensely better than the original Wolverine did. So the thumbsticks I can say are definitely smoother. They feel slightly taller as well, although they might not be, but maybe it's because like the whole controller, like the base part of it is raised up just a little bit it feels. The grips on the side, honestly amazing the contours it fits your hand perfectly this gives me vibes of an xbox 360 controller like very very good very comfortable super nice all the buttons like the tactile feedback on all of the buttons is really nice here let's give you guys a quick sound test you can see because these sound and feel better to me than the old wolverines both the tournament edition and the ultimate edition these sound and feel better So all the buttons and everything, in my opinion, sound and feel great. The thumbsticks, like I said, feel really good, but um, there's a lot, and I mean a lot of emissions from this controller. So they did keep these M1 and 2 buttons by the, uh, the bumpers and the triggers up here. They kept these from the previous version of the controller. And then uh, the grips, like I said, are improved. The comfort is improved. The build quality to me feels better on this controller. Like there's more thought put into it than it was on both the previous controllers. It seemed like some of the things were just a little bit of afterthoughts when you look at this one compared to that one. Number one, huh, this cable is rubberized and is not removable. Like it's this automatically feels cheap. Number two, there's no buttons on the back of the controller at all. <laughs> What? If you're gonna charge $100 for a wired controller, it better have buttons on the back. And then, like, maybe they expect you to use these two buttons, but like, the problem is you can't use your trigger and this button, not easily and, you know, like, ergonomically at least, by holding this button up here. Let's say that if you want to jump, you would have to use your middle finger to hold your left trigger and aim, and then jump like this. It's, it's almost like you're playing bumper jumper or whatever like it, it's just not comfortable It's not ergonomic or anything that's like natural feeling when playing an FPS game like the original Wolverine tournament edition that does obviously still work for Windows and It works on the Xbox one series X basically Microsoft They said that all their controllers are compatible So this one should be I'll test it out in the future when I get an Xbox series X eventually I'm pretty sure that this will work on the Xbox series X. It's wired You just plug it into the USB port the new console are basically PCs. I expect it to work. But I mean, this controller, obviously, you know, it's older, it's beat up because I've been using it for the better part of like two years at this point. You know, the button feel and everything is not as good, but one, it is RGB. And obviously we know that RGB increases FPS. So instead of playing at 60 FPS on console, you get 61. Not only do you have a braided cable, but it's also removable. Like, I don't know why <laughs> they admitted that of all things from this controller. And then this controller is also wired as well. Like pretty much all the third party pro controllers for Xbox are wired except for scuffs. But obviously, you know, you have these two really easy to hit back buttons on the back of the Wolverine Tournament Edition. So 
it's just really confusing to me why Razer decided to omit so many different things and to call it the same controller because if you if you look through anybody's eyes this is a downgrade in every way like this controller should have come out like three years ago and been like $70. If anything, like you can charge a little bit more for these two buttons right here, but otherwise, the controller itself has better build quality, but the features are way worse. And now you can find the Wolverine Tournament Edition between like $105 to $115, I believe. So it's really not that much more. And does it not feel as good in the hand as this one? No, it doesn't. And I'm really hoping that they plan on revamping this controller as well, because this this is not a Razer Wolverine, in my opinion. This is an improved, like standard Xbox controller, maybe that they can charge either $60 equally or $70, but no more than that. It's not wireless. It has a built in cable you can't remove. These two buttons, don't get me wrong, they're nicely placed and usually I would use these for secondary functions like hitting X or Y, but never for A or B for your main uh, primary movement abilities. This is just not a good buy. At $100, I'm returning this. I'm keeping a buck with you. I'm not keeping this. There's no way I could allow myself to keep this and pay $100 for this controller. It's <laughs> no, no, man. It doesn't have it doesn't have paddles on the back. The build quality is worse. Oh, in the software as well, I discovered that the uh, the rumbles are only in the handle, so you don't even have the impulse triggers like you did on the tournament edition and on the standard Xbox controllers. So you get impulse triggers here, where you got the vibration motors in the triggers as well as in the handles. This is basically a 360 controller. Like, don't get me wrong, it feels like a 360 controller, which is a good thing but the technology is also reminiscent of a 360 controller like this no no man absolutely not this wire I'm, I'm looking at this wire like look at this this little piece right here this screams xbox 360 controller to me so i don't know if this is just like a microsoft parts bin controller and they just shipped a bunch of stuff to razor and they started making controllers with it or whatever i wouldn't recommend this to anyone not for a hundred dollars if it was on sale for like 50 bucks or 60 bucks different story I might pick this over a standard Xbox controller, but for $40 more than a standard Xbox controller, out of your mind. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel as well. Don't buy this. I'll leave a link in the description if you're really interested, but I'm also gonna leave a link to the Wolverine uh, Tournament Edition and the Wolverine Ultimate Edition as well if you just want <laughs> a much better controller than this, because this, don't do it. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.